Hi guys, so I'm gonna start this vlog with uh, some clothing, some beautiful dresses that I recently received. So I received five beautiful dresses from Bella Barnett. It's a, a company based in China. They were sent to me. So I thought I would do a try on haul for you guys and share them in this vlog. Um, like I said, they were sent to me, so I don't really know the the quality of the dresses. I haven't bought anything from them. I don't know this company. This is new to me, but I looked at their website. They have some really cute, like very beautiful evening dresses and other stuff. Very cute. And they're kind of like designer inspired, but the, the, the difference is that they're not like knockoffs of current designer outfits like designer dresses and stuff that are out right now they have actually outfits that are inspired by like vintage designer like chanel that sort of uh like couture from runway from like the 90s and stuff so so they're from like they're inspired by by these dresses in the past, so so they don't look like really knockoffs because there aren't like the originals around right now. So that's kind of a nice thing. So they're made to kind of look designer inspired. Um, I love all the five I received, but you have to be extremely delicate with them. They have a lot of embellishments like pearls and gemstones and such so you have to be very 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 delicate with 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 them you can't wash them you have to do to, to dry clean them and then some of them like i had there, there's this one with the pearl strap strap you will see that strap will come off like it's held by like this one little string right so you just got to be very delicate um i will be doing a try on haul just right after showing you these you know just here on camera I just turned on the you know lights and sat here why not um, I wanted to share with you them and then I'll do a try on haul for you to see how they look on me these are some beautiful cute outfits like they're really good for like going out they're really like outfits to go out in not really like something you would wear like for casual anything at all so they are so cute like look at this one you guys so this one is the um this is like the, what this looks like a i don't know if you can see that so you will see this on me here in a second but look at this tassels at the bottom this reminds me and this is really feminine because these like lines kind of come down on an angle like that and really kind of accentuate the figure and these are like tiny little pearls, you guys. I don't know if you can see. These are little pearls, and these are little like stones. Very beautiful. This is a, a kind of like a choker right here um, at the top. So it goes around the neck like that, and it's a halter top. So, and it's a very like deep cut, um, low cut on the back right there. And here also it kind of comes down like that and really accentuate the bar and everything. Look at the way, like kind of the way the lines are. It kind of really uh, kind of emphasize, um, kind of hug your figure and make it look really like cur curvy. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This reminds me of the 1920s flapper girls. Honestly, that's what I kind of want to style this with like when I go out wearing this I'm going to like really do like that flapper girl kind of makeup and do my hair sort of like the vintage 1920s style kind of it'll be really fun to to do that so yeah this is like the first one I wanted to share with you guys I will say I have one concern with this dress because these pearls are precariously kind of sitting there and I feel like over time they might come off after a several times. This is definitely not a dress you will ever, 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 ever wash. You will dry clean this if that. This would be like an occasional dress like you only wear to special occasions. I would just kind of refresh it with some kind of like disinfectant spray or 
you know, like those uh, Febreze kind of things. Um, I don't know, like I forget that I have uh, several of those. I forget the names. I'll link them down there below. You can kind of like dry clean wash them while hanging on the hanger kind of thing, or you can take it to the dry cleaners. Um, I would not take the risk of washing this in any kind of sort of way at all. I feel like I, I don't know, it, it might be a gap, but I feel like I'm already missing. Yeah, see like the stones here, that my only concern is these stone might come off over time, stones. I feel like I'm already missing a few right there. Um, so remember that, I mean, these aren't like dresses made to last forever. Um, and these are, you know, made in China um, and they look beautiful, but they may not like some, maybe not dresses that will last you a lifetime if you're careful. And with the way you we, we wear them, then you will be able to have them for a long time. But yeah, so this is beautiful. And even if it was like a designer dress, you guys, this sort of like stones, they this type of design over time, they tend to come off. So keep that in mind. This is absolutely stunning, you guys, on me. I will uh, put the pictures of the model up here and also uh, a clip of me wearing it. Isn't that stunning? Like, this is so gorgeous. So next I have a real treat. This dress is a stunner, 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 stunner of a dress. It's actually designed to look like, exactly like a Chanel couture dress, an evening gown from 1997, I wanna say. It's either 1997 or 1999. Um, from the runway from the Chanel fashion show it was a, a evening gown that was drop-dead stunning I don't know why Chanel wouldn't make those type of dresses anymore um, this is obviously a vintage design so I really so this dress is the one that got me to want to buy from Bella Barnett because, you know, I mean, you can't find the original anymore. It's not sold anywhere. There's no original to this dress, so it's not like it's an exactly not a, not exactly a knockoff, you know what I mean? Because there's no original anymore. It's just inspired by the Chanel dress, the evening dress, evening gown. So this is what it looks like. I cannot wait to show you guys this on me. This is absolutely stunning. This has chains. There again, I must tell you one thing. These chains you gotta be careful with, be, be very gentle with, because they will fall off. They will come off their hinges if you are rough with it. So you, if you buy this dress, you're gonna have to be like super ultra careful to wear this to like a rare, special evening uh, function, occasion and that be it, um, don't, you know, this is not something you want to wear over and over again, you know, rough use of any kind is not going to be uh, working well with this, this dress, this actually, this piece comes down on the shoulder, so it looks really cute, like off the shoulder, um, so there's all this hardware, um, of course, this is like the Chanel Camellia, you know, it's designed to look like the Camellia, there's a beautiful red jewel right there. There again, this is because of all the jewels and this like beautiful little pearl hanging down, all that. Um, not something you can wash at all, not at all, not even a little bit. It's a dry clean only dress. Even then when you do dry clean, still be careful. I would rather not take it to a dry cleaners because you never know how they're gonna behave with the dress. I would just, kind of like use those like sprays, refreshing sprays on this kind of dress. It's not like you're gonna sweat a lot in like a couple of hours, you know, in an evening function in an air conditioned room, you know what I mean? And you're not gonna be wearing this all day or anything like that. This is one of those like 
you know, just wear for a couple of hours at night time at a really, really like, you know, one of a kind function type of dress. Uh, so yeah, it looks so gorgeous on like this. This is a bandage dress, you guys. So it really like squeezes everything in and like make you look really tight, like taut and gorgeous. Uh, really hugs the figure. I will show you uh, a clip of me wearing it. And by the way, this has a gorgeous, gorgeous slit right here in the middle. So it's kind of like a an open slit that's kind of separated. So you can really see the legs through it. It's very sexy. Um, in the back side, you know, you get the chains on the back too, which I really love how the detail um, comes to the back as well. So it's like very, it's a nice detail, you know, like that the chains are in the back here and in the front. So it's absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if the original Chanel dress was bandage material or not. I, I doubt that somehow. But this one is, which is even better. Um, like I said, these chains are very, 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 very delicate. So when you put it on, and by the way, one other thing I, would, I must warn you with these dresses is that you want to go a size up. I would go a size up. If you are like a small, get a medium. If you are a medium, get a large. Because um, this is, like I said, these are made in China. Bella Barnett is a company based in China. Um, their sizes run smaller than the US sizes. So I had to go a size up myself. Especially this dress with this chain detailing and the one I showed before with the little pearls. If you get a size too small for yourself and you squeeze yourself into the dress, you're going to tear those chains open, off, and like everything's going to fall. You know, that it's going to be too rough on the dress. I mean, you'll be able to squeeze into it because it's stretchy, but it'll look really ugly, weird, and also you'll be like pulling the chains off the dress and stuff and you'll be breaking everything. So remember to go a size up you have to go a size up if you're extra small get a small if you're small get a medium if you're a medium get a large if you're a large get an extra large you know that's really what i would do so then i have this number right here this is super sexy because as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, by the way, it's a, um, a turtle neck, like, like it, it, it's like up to the neck. And then right here, I don't know if you see this, see this, this goes all the way down past the boobs, like right to there. So there's little strip right there. You can see your cleavage, you know, so it's do it. So it's like a bit of a peekaboo, you know, and it's like, it's not raunchy looking because it's a tiny, tiny little thing but also very like very sexy without it being too kind of raunchy you know and I love this color this is a beautiful color on me jewel colors look amazing on me so again this is a bandage dress which I absolutely adore um, and these like see-through sleeves are always so sexy and in the back you get the zipper all the way down um, all the way up and down so it's easy to get in and out of the dress so this one again like sucks you in you know and make your figure look really really stunning So, and then I have this dress with these beautiful pearl straps, which is super cute, I thought. I, I picked this out because of the beautiful pearl straps. But one practical thing I did forget when I opted for this dress is that because it's pearl straps, it's, it tends to slide off the shoulder a little bit. I have very slanty kind of shoulders. So it just rolls right off. Bella Barnett has so many gorgeous dresses, you guys. You don't have to get this one. This is just what I chose. So if you're someone with like very slanted shoulders, um, not really square shoulders, then I would not get this. I would get another dress. 
Um, so that is one practical little detail I forgot, but it does stay on me. It does stay on me. It just kind of falls off every now and then when I relax my shoulders. That's it. And I might actually use double-ended tape to keep it like in place. And I love this little cup detail right here. The, the jewels, look at those beautiful sparkle uh, rhinestone and pearls hanging down. All this like detail work for the price that these dresses are. They're not, you know, super inexpensive, but um, you know, given the, the work and everything, I can understand. Um, they're like, you know, okay. They're definitely not designer prices, so that's good. Um, this is another bandage dress. I love the little jewel in the middle, by the way. There again, not even a little bit, a dry um, washing dress. You can't wash these. You can't wash any of the ones I'm showing you in this video. So this again is a bandage dress. Um, so it's nice stretch tight bandage material. Again, make you, it makes you look taut, you know. And then here um, on the back, there are these little things these little traps straps i will show you how that works um in the video when i wear this dress um really really beautiful really gorgeous dress um, again a very special occasion type of dress these didn't seem to have come off or don't seem to easily come off yeah whenever you have like jewel encrusted uh, gemstone uh, embossed or pasted or pearl detail dresses with hardware, any kind of hardware, you gotta be super extra careful no matter what the quality is. Like, I mean, if it could be like the best, you know, thousands of dollars designer dress, still, you have to be very careful. You can't be rough on this type of delicate, you know, em uh, embellished dresses, you know? So yeah, one thing about this dress, you guys, is that the pearl strap, it just popped off one day so I had to like fix it back in put it back in it actually has a little hook right there so you can unhook it so I would just wear the dress first and then delicately put the hooks like the strap on by the hooks yeah they'll come off if you yank on it so just be very careful when you put them on and off um, uh, just wear the dress first and then hook on the straps So then I have this really cute number right here. This one is really a summer dress, so I'm a little late to the game with this one. Um, but I can still wear it at least once or twice before fall really settles in. Um, so this is a beautiful, this looks very designer inspired. All of these dresses, by the way, are very much designer inspired dresses, like different labels. You know, they, they tend to do like, vintage stuff like inspired by vintage stuff so they're no longer round like so they don't really look like knockoffs at all instead they look like original designer dresses you know so this one has like this sort of puffy detail it kind of goes off the shoulder i'll show you in the video um and it comes kind of kind of down like this it's like all puffy up and down like off the shoulder like that so this mesh detail here is actually see-through on the bodice here and it's kind of wire there's wires in there so it really kind of keeps you in place um, and then this beautiful material I really love this material here there's not even a little bit of stretch to this dress oh that reminds me to tell you you have to go two sizes up with this dress so the other ones like I said even in general Bella Barnett dresses even the stretchy ones, spandex ones, like the ones that have like spandex kind of material, uh, the stretch material, you still have to go up one size because again, uh, the sizes in China, they're different from US sizes. They're smaller, they run smaller. But this one, since there's no stretch at all, you have to go two sizes up. So if you're an extra small, you had to get a medium. If you are a small, you had to get a large. If you are a medium, you have to get an extra, extra large. And if you're a large, I think you have to get, you know, two sizes up. I'm not sure if they have 2XL. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is one that 
rather run small so you got to be you know you got to be kind of uh mindful of that one so yeah you guys those are all the dresses so let's jump back into the rest of the vlog so i'm gonna go to the chanel counter here at nordstrom um i always like to come do my chanel essay here at nordstrom counter she's much better thank you so much. no that's perfect oh yeah this is like a nice orange color yeah that's perfect So I gotta go to Saks and maybe Neiman Marcus if I can't get what I want done at Saks. Sorry, the phone's gonna be very bouncy because I'm trying to rush because we had to make it to dinner after this fast. So I think Saks over here to the right. Okay, Saks was closed, so I'm going to Neiman Marcus. I wanted to try the Dior boutique is in Saks. Um, and I wanted to try another fragrance, a Privé fragrance, but unfortunately they were closed. So it's just a few shades that have that special sort of gorgeous sheen. One is magic, one is that one I just bought, and the other one is starts with an L, like a, a like a la, live or is it live or something like that? Live, yeah. Is it live really? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the one with the this one. Yeah. The special sheen. Yeah. yeah. This is beautiful. I would love it if it came in like a, a like a. No, oh. No, that one no. So there's like this certain type of cocoa bloom that have like a special sheen and I bought all of the colors. So guys, I bought some from uh, Nordstrom and I'm buying the rest here. I'll, I'll swatch and show you when I, when I get home. Ooh, 724, I wanna try this, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You guys, this one is so divine. It smells like there's a soapiness to it, but it's very pleasant floral, kind of soapy scent. But it's in a very like beautiful way, very feminine, I would say. And I'm gonna go into Sephora and see if they have the elixir Burberry hair elixir. Okay, so here's the house lab new foundation i'm like i've got foundation fatigue you guys too many brands coming up with too many things you know especially these singers now coming up with all this stuff like ah uh, you know there's a color a little bit closer to my skin color still not loving it too dewy too glowy it's gonna settle into lines i can tell just by looking at it Anyway, yeah, I wasn't gonna plan. I wasn't planning to buy this anyway. Here's that new concealer from the Sephora brand, the Best Skin Ever Concealer. I've heard some things about this. Let me try it. Seems like a really good thick, high coverage concealer. I might try it. Okay, here's the one I wanted to try: the new Prada, um, Prada Paradox. Um, I want to try this one out. Let's see what this smells like. I've smelled this before. Um, it's mainly a fruity scent with some green nuances. It's very typical. Um, it's nice, it's beautiful, but it's not groundbreaking, you know? You know what, I've always wanted to try the Legere here, the Good Girl Legere. So let me try that. Mm, it's, this one's pretty lovely, Legere. Not as dense and strong as I thought it would be. Mmm, pretty nice. Hmm. It's compared to the original. Yep, I still like the original more, you guys. Still like the original more. Okay, here we are. 
This is the one I wanted to try for sure. This is Burberry Her um, Elixir de Parfum. Let me try it. This one smells interesting. Different, completely different from the original Burberry Her or Burberry Her on tones. Completely different direction. Let me just tell you that much. I'm not gonna do a full review here, obviously. I'm gonna, this is gonna be in hat new releases video the next one coming up so stay tuned this is definitely different this took a different direction from all the other burberry her perfumes that's all i will say for now you know i see another flanker to the sea right here sea line oh no this is eclat i have that i thought it said nah never mind it just says floaty florals i have that one already I want to try this. This is Gucci Guilty Perfumo, but a different, different flanker. Which one is this? Oh, the Parfum Intense. Wow, that one is strong. Yikes. Ooh. Well, not my cup of tea. By the way, I did try Gucci Flora Gorgeous Jasmine. This is quite nice. Better than the Gardenia one, in my opinion. This one's quite lovely. Let try. Yeah, this is actually really, really beautiful. This one, even more than this one. Usually I love Gardenia too, but this one somehow is even better than that one. Well, let me try this new flanker of the uh, My Way. I think this is like florals or something. Let me try this one too. So this one is the original, like the original, the DNA is there. Um, but the difference is this has lots of, smells like fruity notes, a lot more. The originals, I think it was just tuberose and musk, you know, mainly, and some jasmine, but this seems to have some some fruity notes. That it, there it is up there. It's like a frosted bottle. This, you know what? It smells kind of similar to Cada Paradoxy a little bit. Here's the alien goddess on tones. There's the goddess, there's the goddess on toes. Let me try this one. Mm. My nose has gotten nose blind from sniffing too many perfumes and not sniffing coffee between. So I'm having a hard time picking up notes on this one. This is not as strong as an on toes should be. Really, this is nothing at all impressive at all, you guys. Don't waste your money on this one. Honestly, I can barely smell anything. Let me try Goddess again, the original. Goddess has more of a scent than the Antons. I want to try the new Dior concealer. I love the foundation, so I'm going to assume I love this too. You guys, that went on really nicely. I can tell I'm going to love it. Got like a really weird flat brush tip, which is kind of interesting. So I wanted to just quickly show you what I got. So I picked up a lot um this is my Mimi's bag um actually i got some from nordstrom chanel counter and some from the neiman marcus chanel counter um so each has its own sort of benefit well the chanel counter at nordstrom i prefer because my sa there i have a regular essay there who's really amazing she lets me 
uh, know of new releases and everything and I get like to have them right away but then Neiman Marcus has all these beautiful sample packets that they give out with purchase so kind of tend to buy from both and sometimes I order directly from Chanel.com because um, it's just easier online so I got two lip pencils the long wear lip pencils um, one is 174 rouge tone the other one is 196 rose poudre so there they are so this is the rosy color that I got um, kind of pinky rose color so let me so they come with like a lip brush on one end and then the pencil on this end so let me swatch this so that's what it looks like um, kind of like a light rosy coral pink which goes with many of my lipsticks that I have in my collection and this one is the a huge tondo. So this one is a red color, obviously, and lip pencil uh, on one side, lip brush on the other side. So this is the kind of a bright red. I wouldn't quite call it a fire red, fiery red. It's a bit of a bright red with a little bit of an orange undertone and then I got two of the my favorite uh, Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks um, so Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks there you know just usually just very kind of like juicy looking and very shiny um, gives kind of like a high gloss kind of finish high shine finish to the lips but there are either two or three shades that have a bit of a I wouldn't call it quite a metallic finish but rather like a they've they've got specks of glimmer in it and it gives this beautiful sort of finish to the lips that I'm wearing one of them right now right there uh, I find them to be very attractive I think they all three of them that have that different finish, they're red shades. So I have all three of them. I've already bought one. Actually, I'm not sure if it's two or three because either I just bought a backup for the one I already have or there are just three uh, of the shades that have those specs. I might, what I, what I might have upstairs might be Burst, but I think what I have upstairs is Magic, but it could be another Burst that I have upstairs so yeah so here they are two of them this one is 142 burst and this one's 140 alive um i'll show you what i mean um i wish i had a another one to compare with like a regular coco bloom so this is what the bullet looks like and you can tell right there there's a bit of a kind of a metallic sheen let me i don't know if you can tell probably not on camera very easily but yeah that's what it looks like I don't know if you can tell the difference so this one is a bit of a um, a red with a a bit of a strawberry raspberry kind of undertone with a bit of a pinky undertone and this one so that one I just swatched was 140 alive and here is Burst, which is what I'm wearing. This is 142 Burst. So this is what it looks like. I just put it on so it's a little beat up. Um, let me swatch it right next to Alive. So you can see the difference. So there is um, Burst on top, Alive on the bottom. I know it's hard to tell the difference on camera, but this one here, the Alive one, Alive, shade Alive, is a little bit more red, whereas the burst that I'm wearing, it's more of a, has a more of a dark pink undertone to it. I don't know. It's hard to describe. They're very similar, actually, uh, but different also, a little bit different. 
Then I have here a nail polish too. I picked up a nail color. I am in love with the Chanel Longwear Nail Color. So the shade I got is 510 Gatin. Gatin. Um, so this is what it looks like. Let me show you the... So it's like a fiery sort of bright red like the shade I'm wearing. But this isn't it by the way. What, what I'm wearing is a different nail polish. But yeah, this one's very similar. These are like very kind of like jelly like the finish so I really like it and then I got this this huge sample pack from the Neiman Marcus one so it has a lot of really nice perfume samples and everything well I almost forgot I did go ahead and buy Burberry Her Elixir de Pressure. Uh, this is going to be in a hot new releases video coming soon uh, stay tuned. I also got Prada Paradoxy just for you guys to review for you. Um, yes, it's a little bit generic, not really generic, but a little bit like, you know, I've smelled it before. It's a little common. Um, this kind of fragrance composition before, I've smelled this kind of composition before. But there's something quite nice about it still. It's quite pleasant, um, very like it's a very nice scent, let's just say. That's all I'll say for now. I'll say more about the notes and what I exactly think of it in the next hot new releases video. Stay tuned. Then I went to Lush. You saw me going to Lush. The reason why I want to share this is because this one is different. This is new. So I buy like a ton of Lush bubble bath every time I go to the mall, you guys. But this time I found this one. Now I forget what this is called, look at this size. This has got, as you can see, a little bit of glitter, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really want the glitter. I'm not like, you know, 10 years old. But um, this is a big cake of the bubble bath, so you can actually cut it into little different pieces. You can get like 20 uses out of this. And you guys, why I wanted to show this, is because it's bubble gum, you guys. It's bubble gum scent, and it's got nourishing ingredients in it. I think shea butter too. So yeah, it smells so good. It's called I forget it's what it's called. I'll put it up here if I find it. It's bubble gum scented, you guys. It smells so good. I have like my Moschino toy um, toy too. Is it? Yeah fragrance so I can wear I can take a bath at nighttime and wear that perfume smells like you know and smell like bubblegum all night that's why I wanted to share my Lush um, haul with you here so this is the other one I like I think this is called Rose Jam and this has glitter too again not a fan of the whole glitter so it's like a little cake you know in here you got a little bit of like some kind of like jam stuff Kind of like a shea butter dollop in there that they've sandwiched it with. So that's my uh, one of my favorites. And one of my top favorites to buy from Lush is this right here. This is called the Cloud, I think. So it's like uh, like shaped like a cloud, and it's got this sort of like I don't know, pinky, purpley, multicolor thing going on. And this smells like lavender and. A lot of the fragrances that I actually have with lavender in it smells like this. This actually smells very similar to my um, my all my lavender fragrances. Uh, it reminds me of a, a one that smells exactly like that. Is, is it Lavanda Strinon or Mango Guerlain? I can't remember. Yeah, so the cloud. I got several of the clouds in here. I have like one, two, three like yeah, four clouds so uh, several of those here um, and then I got usually I get a lot more than this but I already have in my closet stocked up a bunch so I didn't go too ham this time and here's another lavender one I like this is called like the lavender I ugh, don't remember the names it's got a little bit of lavender sticking out of it you know right here it's like a lavender cone I like to cut this in half and use one half for each one bath and the other half for the next 
but I think most people get four use out of uses out of it. But I'm extra, you know. So yeah, that's that's what I got from Lush. I wanted to insert this clip right here so I can share them uh, the stuff I got at the mall with you guys. And as for the Maison Francisca Gian 724, that's coming up in another video. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise in this one.